Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another recap movie review. And today we've got a movie from Netflix called Intergalactic. It's basically like a cartoon film. But it was very interesting. So guys, with that being said, let's get into it. So I believe it was written by Kid Cudi. If y'all don't know who he is, he is a rapper. I guess now doing other things. I'm not sure if he still raps, but to my understanding from watching the movie, he still puts out music. Okay, so basically, this movie takes place in New York, of course, my hometown, in Manhattan. So, the character name is Jabari. So, he just basically moved to this apartment in, I think, downtown Manhattan or somewhere else. In Manhattan, basically. We don't know exactly, but in Manhattan. And he has movers help him bring his stuff up. So, eventually, they got to the last piece. They was like this. We got another shift to do, so um, can you bring this last piece upstairs? He, <laughs> he was like, sure, no problem. So, he ends up picking it up. It's kind of heavy. So, he walks it up to the steps, and he goes inside the building. But good thing is they got an elevator, so he ended up taking the elevator. So, I believe he's going in, and then there's a girl coming out. She doesn't quite see his face, but she was like, cool um, cool clown. And she ends up taking a picture of him, and he's like, yeah, no doubt. And then he goes upstairs to his apartment, and he finished getting settled in. Eventually, um, later on, he goes out to go get him some food because mind you he just moved in he don't got nothing to like really eat and stuff on so he goes ride take his bike and he goes to get him some chinese food on the way after he places his order and get his food he's riding back to his house he's eating his food and you know riding his bike at the same time on the way back to his apartment he and this girl calls out to him and Lo and behold, that ended up being his ex named Carmen. So she was like, how has it been? They haven't seen each other in like six months. And he told her what he was doing in his life. And she was like, oh, that's con that's good for you. Congratulations. Because supposedly he's like, if y'all know in like New York, there's, this, um, there's people that do graffiti art and that they put on buildings and stuff like that. He does that type of vibe. And some company picked him up to put his um cartoon person he's called by mr rager in a comic book so they offered him a position and he works there so he was like that's what i do and she was like oh congratulations she was like maybe one day we should um have lunch you know my treat to celebrate you know your comments she was like yeah sure so eventually she gave him a hug and he went on about his way. Eventually, after that, he got home. He also had extra food, so his friends came by. I believe it's Kevin and Jimmy. Don't get me wrong with the names. I probably forgot, but I just know those are his friends. And one of his friends, watching it, he has long dreads. He looked like Todd Dolla $ign. So if y'all watch the movie, y'all y'all gonna see what I'm talking about. And then he got his um. I don't want to make it seem like racist, but his white friend, Jimmy. So they're there chopping it up. And he tells them how he ran into his ex, Carmen. And his friend, Jimmy, is like, listen, don't go back to that. Like, you got a bachelor pad now. Live your best life. You ain't got time for all that bag and just stuff like that. And then his friend, Kevin, was like, yeah, I totally agree with her because, like, listen, you doing it big now. You don't need to be, like, tied down with all that baggage and drama and stuff like that. So, eventually, he was like, hmm, yeah, yeah, so whatever. Later on that night, he also hits up, he decides to hit up Carmen. He goes looking on her Instagram, and he was like, so, you still up for that drink or whatever? And she was like, yeah, sure. So, eventually, his friends leave. He gets cleaned up or whatever, and he heads down to the bar where she's at. They start chopping it up and having a good old time. Eventually, they end up leaving. They start, like, walking around the town. They got super, super drunk. She, and they end up running into one of his, um, one of his Rager designs on a building. 
and she was able to take, let me take a picture. So she does that. He was like, step back, step back, step. She was like, step back, step back. And they took a picture or whatever. Um, before he could even take the picture of her with his design, uh, um, what the heck? <laughs> a sanitation truck rolled by and splashed all this water and dirt on him. So she ended up running up to him and, you know, dusted him off. Eventually they kissed and then and he wakes up in her apartment. So, yeah. So she done got up or whatever. She done went for a run and stuff that he still sleeps. So he eventually wakes up. And when he wakes up, she's on a phone call talking to her mother. And her mother invited him to, I think, one of her cousin's events. He was like, yeah, sure, I can go. Eventually, he got up and got dressed. He was thinking, like, this was a whole mistake. I should have done that. But eventually, he tells her, like, listen, I got to go. I don't think we should do this. And she was like, yeah, okay, whatever. She's not taking it as a hint at first. So eventually, he leaves. And he goes on about his day. When he gets to work, he sleep on his desk. His friend calls him, like, and his friend was getting the whole massage and stuff done in the background. And he was like, listen, you need to get one of these that'll help get you over your hangover. So after he ended up getting a phone call with his his friend, one of his coworkers come in and was like, listen, I'm thinking you should try to, excuse me, ex um, switch up some things with your character. And he was like, mm, yeah, whatever. So eventually he ends up going home. And I'm not sure what he did. Oh, he runs in. Oh, he gets home, right? And there's a party, right? Next door. So he's tired from his hangover. He's, um, it's probably like two sun in the morning. So he can't sleep with all the noise. But first, before that, um, he gets a buzz to his door and saying he has a liquor delivery. He was, and the guy was like, he was like, this is not the right apartment. He was like, so is this this address? He was like, no, that's 3B. I'm 3A. He was like, oh. And then eventually, he goes outside because he couldn't sleep. And the party is for 3A. And he is a line everywhere. He goes in trying to find the owner. And then some white guy, I guess, was trying to, like, cause some problems or whatever. And he was just not going for it. So eventually, the girl, the owner of the apartment, she's like, listen, we're not doing that. And once... You, them two saw each other, they, they heart stopped and it just like start intertwining like the galaxy and stuff like that. It's just like, okay, is this really real? Come to find out that he's fine, she's fine. Eventually, he was like, I'm not a party poop or whatever. Y'all can continue with the party and he leaves. So her friend, friend was like, that's your neighbor? She was like, yeah, he's cute. My, her friend is, I think like, what, seven or eight months pregnant, but you can't tell yet. And she was like, he's cute. So eventually, they did something that they end up getting connected with each other. They end up running into each other again. And they started hitting it off. She takes him to one of her. They started doing a what they, sightseeing around the town. He shows her one of his, his first designs. And, you know, they just living in the moment. They went walking through the park. I believe Central Park or even Bryan Park. Walking through the park, whatever. It started raining. They was going to go somewhere else. And he ended up giving her his hoodie because all she had was her jacket. He had a hoodie, so he would have been safe. But, you know, he was very, being, being very chivalrous. He gave her, gave her his hoodie so that she wouldn't get wet. And he just walked around in his t-shirt or whatever. And, you know, they, like I said, hit it off. They started becoming, they started becoming more than just friends. It got to one point where they both was feeling each other, but both of their friends was like, listen, you should go for it. And then they both said that they're not trying to date their neighbor or, you know, have sex with their neighbor. Long story short, they did. And, you know, they became close. She took him to... One of her favorite secret spots, some local diner that serves like vegan burgers. But he was like, You look like the type of person that be like into vegan food. And when they ordered the food, she was like, I order, um, I have two specials. Come to find out, the meal was a vegan meal, so he was right on point with that. So, yeah, like I said, they were hitting it off good, they started showing up at 
each other's events, but not knowing it was each other's events. And they started they getting to know each other more. One instance that, like, really put a halt to their relationship was his ex-girlfriend, Carmen. She calls him over for, to, I guess, to see what's wrong with her problem. Because they found out she had a big rat, so they end up leaving. But cause before he can do that, he ended up taking his hoodie off so he can, like, see what was really going on. And he ends up leaving his hoodie there. So later that same night when he's hooking up with his neighbor and she sleeps over at his house, he gets a text message like late at night and it's Carmen inside his hoodie and the girl saw it, Meadow. I never told you her name. Her name was Meadow. Uh, Meadow saw it and she was just like, mm, and she, she left. So when he woke up, he just sees his phone on the pillow and the other side of bed neatly made. So he got in touch with his friends. And his friends was like, he saw that the best. So he related to his friends. He was like, listen, she left. And she seen the text of what happened. They were like, yeah, she saw it. And then he was like, and the other side of bed was made. He was like, you know how hard it is to make a bed with somebody still in it? Oh, yeah, she saw the text. And that's it. So eventually, long story short, they basically went their separate ways for a while. He finally told Carmen what was up, and she finally got the hint that listen, I guess I need to just fall back and let it be. Let let it be. I guess they're not gonna be friends anymore. Um, he continued working on his project. It went well. She started working on her art pieces at the at the studio. I never told you she was a photographer. See, yeah, but she's a photographer. And her art pieces went well. She submitted one of the pictures of him that she took while they was outside getting to know each other. It went well. He came to support her even though she didn't think he was there. Then he leaves and she starts looking for him after she said her speech. He's up on the billboard. He sees a McDonald's ad. He was like, um, McDonald's has the best burger, he said. And he changes to have the second best burger. And he also drew his um, character eating the burger. And she was like, mmm. So she already knew where he was going. So she ended up getting in the cab. Of course, he had his bike. So he drove to, well, he rode his bike to the place. And she drove a cab there. So she ended up getting there before him. So I, I'm suggesting she he went and waited for her until he saw that she got there. And then he came and he was like, hmm. So he said his favorite, he said the line to her that she said to him in the beginning when they first got to the spot. I don't know what it is, but yeah. So they end up getting back together. And that was it. Y'all gotta watch it. Like it was so cute to watch. It was fun to watch. And it was just like entertaining. Like you wouldn't even think like you would need to see this type of movie, but it was nice. It's called Intergalactic on Netflix. It came out Friday. So, yeah, y'all check it out. Tell me how y'all feel. Let me know in the comment section down below. Have y'all watched it? Do y'all plan on watching it? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.